Welcome back everyone to episode 19 of the Mexico series. So let's take a look at our economy so far. So we have a $4 billion surplus. We have an excess of $221 billion for our budget. And public debt, we managed to reduce that by roughly about 21%, which is pretty good. And inflation is down to 1.69. We'll let that drop a little more and it'll start to go up as we start to increase spending. And as for unemployment, it's in the area we need it to be in. So to start this off, we want to increase our population, which is currently at 138, I'm sorry, 133.8 million people who would like to increase that so we can collect more taxes by having a lot more people, a lot more people with jobs. So we're going to increase our maternity hospitals by So we're going to go ahead and invest in 26 maternity hospitals. And that's going to be spread out throughout the country. And I'm going to increase the funding for maternity. So we're going to spend about 1.9 billion on that. So that gave us a slight boost in the polls. Um, let's take a look at crime real quick. So that's 6.91. Inflation still dropping. All right, so let's see. All right, so this there. Okay, so we can probably increase our minimum pension so let's make that 92 let's see how that fares up with the public 76 might as well round that off to 77 percent approval so we'll go ahead and put that into place. And let's check education. So if we do one star, that's going to be 4.4 billion. That's going to be more than I'm willing to spend right now so let's concentrate on farming and all right 
Okay, so beef we have plenty of, so since we have plenty of beef, let's try to increase the production of milk. So we're going to give milk about a $25 million subsidy. The other thing I want to look at is fowl. So we're going to increase that to 10 million. So in order to grow this, we need plenty of cereals and corn or maize, whatever you want to call it. So we have plenty of corn. What about cereals? So cereals we're still lacking in. So cereals, we're going to raise that up to 175. Sharing this moment of intense spirituality with the faithful gives me great joy. On this holy day, I think all of our communities across the country, those in major cities, but also those in small remote villages, which are coming together in prayer. <clears throat> Okay, so we have the technology for an improved submarine. So, um, let's see. So, we still need to improve our military. Because let's take a look real quick at where we all right so we're number 10 in the world for population um economy we're number eight but when it comes to military power we're number 41 which is uh very off compared to our economic status i mean at the very least we should be in the teens so we have to we have to do some improvements So we're going to go to research. And we're going to do one star in military. So military and industry are the two that we're probably going to try to concentrate on the most for expanding the military and um, being able to defend ourselves better. Demonstrators are marching in several cities all over the country as we speak. They intend to express their... Alright, the pacifist union is going to be a thorn in my side. So, let's increase the amount of agents in, within the country. All right, let's check inflation. Still dropping. All right, so let's go to associations. And 
what we're going to do is we're going to ban and arrest the leader of the pacifist union So what this is going to do is it's going to make them a Pacifist terrorist group. sympathizers are demonstrating as we speak. We are supervising the demonstration at a distance in order not to give the demands the slightest ammunition. Nevertheless, the atmosphere is, well, peaceful and should not give rise to any disturbances, notwithstanding the treatment handed out to the various puppets in effigy of you. All right, let's check our dead. The bill has been voted on and the law has been passed. All right, so that happened and human rights. So that's what dropped our polls. You're really peachy keen. And I tell you that I keep harping on to my great great grandchildren about it. It's true. You're the creme de la creme. Alright, so that ban... Does... Our infiltrated agent is on site. His first report confirms that his cell is operational and has carried out some preliminary tests as set out by the usual protocol with a view to launching his mission. This country will soon be the destination for our secret agents. Alright, so let's look at finance, see where we are with growth. That's actually not too bad at all. All right, so where are we in terms of rights? Okay, that's fine. All right, so we have a two. Might as well round it off to $200 billion cash surplus for um, our treasury reserve. The Here are the GDP and growth. The household purses remain desperately empty. Lodging and food use almost all of the household income. All right, so we're going to have to deal with that. Seniors increasingly affected by poverty. The sit-in begins to run out of steam. The majority of the demonstrators, the momentum gone, have left. Okay, so let's check. All right, so we have $330 billion in our treasury reserve. So let's go ahead and pay off the U.S. All right, so that completely wiped out our treasury reserve, but at least we paid down the debtor. Um, actually, so as you can see, we actually improved our credit rating. So in harshness and rules, we went from a triple B rating to a triple A. And Gigong went from triple B to a double A. And the other two, we remained the same. Alright, so I just missed something here.
Okay, accidents decline. Now, something just came up about, um... Nuclear missiles. So... I believe we're still making progress to becoming a... Military nuclear power. Alright, so let's try to help out poverty by rehabilitating 10,000 homes. Okay. Alright, so now we're eight, we're finally able to make nuclear weapons. We'll keep that to ourselves. Budget surplus of seven percent. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year based on calculations that we made last month. This is an excellent figure. Our economy is flourishing, our production increases. All right, unemployment rate drop. So we went from 6% to 2%. All right, so that unemployment is going up. And so is inflation. So we're not going to try to stop the inflation from going up. It's close to 2%. So I want to keep it between 2 and 3%. So that sound that you hear every time I click on that, that's from the latest update for some reason. And it's been doing that now. All right, so let's check the population. Um... Population living below poverty poverty line. Uh, that's not good. Let's go to industry. Let's take a look at bottled water. Can we? All right, so. That went up due to the uh, inflation. So let's drop that. All right, so that's not gonna pass. Nope, that's not gonna pass at all either. So, well, let's go ahead and wait and see what else we can do to try to help out. All right, so the retirement pension that's been raised. Let's see if we can completely legalize this. Uh, all right, what about possession and consumption independently regulated by a locality? Let's see if, all right, so that's not going to pass, but apparently this will, even though the people won't be too happy about that.
but I'm wondering if that's going to spike my um, drug addiction rate. You know, it's been pretty steady the entire time. Alright, so let's go to education. Alright, so we'll do... Alright, this is going to kill my economy, but... For the greater good, I'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so crime did go up. So let's try to hire more uh, police. So we're going to put more police on the street. Now let's check the terrorist group. We're going to go ahead and infiltrate them. Alright, so El Salvador. Raise that to eighteen. And let's do a foreign exchange program with them. All right, they accept it, so that should help with um, diplomatic relations with them. So. That country should turn to a white outline or green, hopefully. Alright, so let's go to water networks. Alright, so we need to increase the water networks for our agricultural sector. So we're going to bump this up to five seventy five. Let's check the inflation rate. So that's actually not too bad considering all the spending we've done so far. All right, so we still want more energy production. Or really um, oil production. So, fossil fuel production. Alright, so let's just see where we stand at with oil. Let's go to production. So, I forgot what number we started out at, but we are now number four in the world for oil production. So we're on the heel, well, we're not quite on the heels of Saudi Arabia yet, but we're getting there. U.S. discovers the AIDS vaccine. 
breach a free trade agreement with Colombia. How so? You're ending my agreement for me. Are you that one? So what brought that on? Because we even had a... I believe we even had a military alliance with them. Let's go to the Diplomacy Alliance. Yeah, no treaty. Well, because of current relations now, that's going to be a little hard to do. So, wait. Even Bolivia has some kind of issue with us. So let's see if we can do something about that. Let's go to service. Do 15 for that. And let's go with farming. Yeah, let's do 16. All right, so our growth is at 7.28. Let's look at inflation. That's 1.76, which still isn't bad at all. Even though we we did raise the uh, interest rate. So that's not bad. Um, let's do another 10,000. So let's see if we can help out. Um, see if we can help with those below the poverty poverty line. Um, if we drop this to okay, so. That will pass. Just want to see how much we have on hand right now. So, have an excess of 7.69. All right, so we're back back up to the 90% range because of public finances. All right, so like I said, we still want to grow our military. So let's do another 5,000. Let's look at unemployment. All right, so... Alright, with 72,600 people were sent in both the military and the police in. One of my men succeeded in infiltrating Key Center. According to my calculations, the informational gain, in geopolitical terms, could be close to 2.73 on Saks graphic. Our agent also allows us to anticipate and therefore counterattack their terrorist projects. You can decide to dismantle this organization. Alright, well... 
stay on the cover for now and let's look at it, please. Alright, so do we need to build more prisons? Will that help? If we do, all right, so let's keep this low. Let's do about five, and we'll see what happens with um, the crime rate once that's completed. Alright, so we have a neutral standing with uh, El Salvador. Alright, so why is the U.S. being neutral with us? Alright, service, let's go ahead and do, yeah, let's just do 17. Farming, alright, that's at 25. Energy, that's at 20, let's just boost that up to 25. Um, are we with coal? So we can produce more coal. So we're going to invest about 20 million into that sector. Hunger strike. Uh, that's not going to be good for us at all. So, unfortunately, we're just going to take him out. Because his hunger strike is going to hurt our pole standing, so. I have to do a little corruption here and there. Alright, so bike path. Or access for the handicap. We'll do access for the handicap. Let's check the inflation. So that's actually not bad. It's going up, but it's at a pretty slow rate. Um, let's go to media. Construction. In Mexico, all right. So, annual reimbursement. All right, so I'm going to increase that by two percent. So what is it? Okay, so that move just helped our popularity. Um, family, family allowance. All right, so what was it that I promised in? All right, so. Let's go to let's go to elections. All right, family allowance. So thirty, thirty four, and fifty one.
Okay, so 30. Thirty-four and fifty-one. So that's fifty-two percent. We'll go ahead and try that. So that's a campaign promise, so hopefully that'll boost our poll rating. All right, so let's see if we could do a foreign exchange with Cuba. Okay, so we can. So that'll improve relations with us. Check. Let's check unemployment. All right, public servants is at nine seven two. All right, and. So economically, we're actually doing pretty well. So far, we have a $26 billion surplus. Hunger strike. They didn't take that guy out yet? The operation yet? is finished. Don't get me wrong. This kind of removal is very delicate to undertake. And its results rarely go unnoticed in almost 86.4% of the cases, to be precise, according to a modeling based on Baxter's algorithm. Also, if you want to repeat the operation, I think that it would be better to wait until the whole thing has settled down. All right, so they took him out, but unfortunately not before hurting my poll numbers. So, dropped almost 17% in the polls. Let's see about All right, so I think I'm going to end this episode and In the future, I plan on expanding the uh, space program and looking at possibly putting a launch pad in this area here. Now, I'm not sure when exactly I'm going to do that. Um, obviously, I want the economy to get a lot better um, in order to get a lot better though I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pay off all my debts so just Germany the UK and the United States and then our own is 642 billion that we have to pay off so Hopefully this doesn't get too out of control and I can remain in power. Um, with this series, if I get kicked out, then that's going to be it for the series. So I'm going to try not to let that happen. Um, looking at expanding uh, some oil platforms within this area here and 
Prime, I mean, considering I got it to drop down from 28% to 7, that's not bad. But 7% crime rate isn't really the greatest either. Wanted to get that to about 3 or 4%. So, again, thank you for the support for this channel. Um, the next Russia and Ukraine video should be coming soon, within the next couple of days. It took me a long time with this because I wasn't really feeling well the last few days. So, just trying to get back into the swing of things. So... There's going to be a few more videos coming up, and I will see you soon.